in this video we are going to solve the lead code problem of the day and the problem is finding three digit even numbers the problem category is of easy level but it seems to be of medium level but i promise you that after watching this video after understanding the problem and the solution approach you are going to say okay it is actually very easy in the problem the given input is an array of positive integers basically those positive integers are nothing but the digits from 0 to 9 so you are given an array of integers which are actually digits from 0 to 9 and you need to output a sorted array of unique integers now what are these unique integers let's understand this it is the core of our question that what are these integers how are we going to create these integers and return the sorted array you need to create all those integers which satisfies the below conditions the first condition is the integers in your array should be unique so you need to create unique integers and the array should be sorted the integers should be even numbers and it should be of three digits the integers should not have any leading zeros for example 0 1 2 this is not valid because it is having a leading zero it is not actually a three digit number it is a two digit number 12 right so that is why it is not valid and now comes the main condition consists of digits from the input array you are given an input array right you are given an input array which contains digits from 0 to 9 so your integers should have all the digits from the input array now let us try to understand this with an example so these are the conditions and this is example number one in this example the given input digits are 2 1 3 0 this is your input right and you can see that this is an array of integers and all the integers are digits right 0 1 2 3 okay now the output in this case is 102 120 130 132 210 230 302 310 312 and 320 now let us try to see that is this output matching these conditions or not first of all the output should be a sorted array right so you can see that the array is sorted right it's 102 then 120 then 130 till 320 so the data is sorted and the first condition is the data unique yes all the three digit numbers in this particular output is unique none of them are repeating right the second is all the numbers should be even yes all the numbers are even digits right the third condition is the numbers should be of three digits okay so yes all the numbers are three digits without any leading zeros none of the numbers are having the first digit as zero right all of them are starting from one or two or three okay and now the main condition it should consist of digits from the input array the input array is zero one two three right and the output you can see that all the numbers in your output is having digits from your input array right so this is a valid output now the thing is you need to output all the integers which you can actually make of three digits which are unique should be even without leading zeros and should consist of the digits from the input array so you cannot say that this is the complete output you need to find all the three digit numbers and these are all the three digit numbers now let us see another example to completely understand the problem the digits array is 22882 now let us analyze each number in the output one by one okay so the first is 222 two, two, right we can create this from 2 2 and 2 so we are creating our output from the digits from the input array right and you will notice that each number in the output is unique is even is of three digits without any leading zeros and this is the condition we will keep checking for each of the output so 222 two, two, yes we can create 222 two, two. then 228 yes we can create this we can take 2 2 and 8 okay just for the clarification i will tell you that you can take the digits from the input array in any order you can take this 2 and then this 2 and then this 8 to create 228 this is what we saw in the example number 1 you can create 120 which is valid so you can take 1 then you can take 2 and then you can take 0 so the selection of the orders from the digits is not important you can take the digits in any order and you can create three digit numbers you just need to make sure that all the conditions are satisfied okay so let us proceed and let us see can we create 282 yes we can say okay 2 8 and 2 so we can create 282 we can create 288 as well right so 2 8 and 8 right we can create 822 yes 8 2 and 2 right then 828 yes we can create it 8 2 and then 8 right and 882 yes 8 8 and 2 so these are all the valid three digits numbers which are unique even without any leading zeros and consist of digits from the input array now i know that the question might be clear to you but now we need to focus on the solution approach right the thing is the question is of easy level and let us try to solve it in the most easy way possible instead of just confusing and using some extra logics for example we might think that okay we need to create three digit numbers so there are three places to fill right now we need to fill these three places to create numbers and we need to store these numbers in an array and then give the output now this place will be filled by an even number right for example in example number one we can fill this with zero or two if we fill this particular digit or this particular place in our number with one or three then the number will become odd right 
and we need to just output all the even numbers. So from here, our thought process can be that I need to create three digit numbers. I will fill this with even numbers and then I will find all the combinations of numbers which I can fill here. And I need to be sure that this should not start from zero, right? Now, there are a lot of things which you need to do if you just follow this approach that I have to fill three places. Instead of that, try to think about the best hint which is given in the question itself that the numbers should be three digits, right? Without any leading zeros, even, right? In mathematics, these combination of numbers are limited, right? And you know all those numbers. You don't need to create all those numbers. You already know about those numbers. Those numbers are from 100 to 999, right? And I will come to this condition. For now, let us forget about the even condition. Just think about three digits and no leading zeros. If you have numbers from 100 to 999, then all the numbers are of three digits, right? And none of the numbers are having any leading zeros. So instead of creating the numbers by filling three places, I already have those numbers which are of three digits and which doesn't have any leading zeros. Now talking about this case, the even case, okay, let us just follow the solution approach. We just need to run a loop from 100 to 998 instead of 999 because this is odd, right? So let us ignore it. Run a loop from 100 to 998 and skip one number in the loop every time. That is start from 100 and skip 101. Forget about it. Just directly jump to 102, then jump to 104, jump to 106 and just keep doing it jump to 996 then 998 and then once you are on 998 you can come out of the loop right now it's up to you how you implement this logic it's very simple right you just need to run a loop and in your loop you need to skip your loop for two times instead of one what we generally do right we generally say okay i plus plus instead of that we can say i is equal to i plus two right we need to jump two numbers ahead right and this will automatically create all the even numbers which are of three digits and it will be unique as well right you have one more condition you need to only create unique numbers now the problem is if you try this approach of filling the three numbers you will have to track uniqueness you will have to track the even numbers you will have to track no leading zeros as well you don't need to track this because it's already three places but still your logic should track unique even and leading zeros but instead of that if you follow this logic running a loop from 100 to 998 you are satisfying all these four conditions you are taking unique numbers even numbers three digit numbers and numbers without leading zeros now you might say how this is unique see the thing is we are just checking for 100 10 102 104 we are not checking for one number more than once and all these numbers are unique right these numbers are unique even three digits without leading zeros now we just need to satisfy this condition that it should consist of digits from the input array we will do it but let me tell you one more advantage of this logic sorted array the data which you will create will already be sorted right this is a sorted data right from 100 to 998 what we are going to do is for each number we are just going to check is this valid and what's the condition we need to check this condition that the digits should consist of digits from the input array and if it is valid we are going to count it we are going to store it in an array so what we are going to do this is example number two 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 eight eight two right now let us check for few numbers to understand what we are going to do for each numbers let us check for 120 the thing is if you run a loop from 100 to 998 120 will eventually come right you will keep jumping and you will jump to this 120 so let us check for 120. Now before we start the check for any number, what we need to do is we need to store the frequencies of the digits in the input. This is your input array, right? Your digits are 2 and 8. So your input array consists of 2 and 8 and the frequency is it consists of 3 number of 2s and 2 number of 8s. So 1, 2 and 3, 3 number of 2s and then you have 1 and 2, 2 number of 8s. Now let us proceed. Let us write the same logic. Let us run the same logic for each number. So let us check for 120. Is it valid or not? 120 says that I need one number of 1, one number of 2 and one number of 0. Do I have it in my input array? No. I do have 2, right? I just need one number of 2. I already have 3. So this is fine. But these two are not fine, right? It doesn't have a 1 and it doesn't have a 0 in the input. So in this case, you will say that this is not valid. This will not be the part of our answer. What about 222? Okay. So 222 says that I need three number of 2s and I already have three number of 2s in my input. So I can create this number from the digits which consists of digits from the input array, right? So this is valid and I can say I will count this 222. What about 282? Okay, so for 282, we need two number of 2s and one number of 8. We have it, right? We have three number of 2s and we have two number of 8s. So if your demand is less than the supply, right? This is your supply, right? This is your demand. So your demand is less than the supply. So yes, you can fulfill the demand and you can create this number. So yes, 282 is also possible and this is valid. Now what about 288? So for 288, we are going to say, okay, it needs one number of twos and two number of eight. Fine. I have three number of twos. I have two number of eights. So yes, I can create this number as well, right? So this is also valid. But what about 888? It needs three number of eight and it just have two number of eight in the input. So we cannot create 888 and this is not valid. So you will notice that 222, 282, 288 are valid. And this is part of this answer, right? 
So we have 222 here, we have 282, we have 288 as well. So like this, what we need to do is we just need to run a loop and we are going to check for each number and for each valid number, we are going to store it in an array and just output that array and that will be your complete solution for this particular problem. Now let me take you back to the code editor and let me show you the solution for this particular problem. This is the complete solution for this particular problem using Python. First of all, what we are doing is we are just counting the frequencies of our digits in the input. So counter of digits and that will be equal to frequency, right? Then create a result variable, which is a list and we are going to add all the valid numbers in this list. Now run a loop from the range of 100 to 1000 and just keep skipping for one number. So the logic for this is start from 100, go till 1000, 1000 will not be included, right? This is how loop work in Python. You will just keep jumping for two numbers. So you will go from 100 to 102, 204 up to 998. Now let us fetch the digits in our number. The digits are D1, D2, D3. The thing is, if you have a number like 120, right? Now you need to fetch 1, 2 and 0 separately so that you can count the frequencies of these numbers. This is your demand. We are going to check using the supply that do we fulfill the demand or not. So the thing is, we need to extract these numbers from this particular number which is stored in num. So we are going to say D1, D2, D3 is equal to num divided by 100. This would get us 1. Then num divided by 10, this will make our number as 12 and then mod with 10, this will extract 2. Then num mod 10, this will extract 0. So we are extracting all the three digits in our number and then we are creating another counter of those digits D1, D2 and D3. Store it in a variable called as current frequency and then check for one condition that all those counters should be less than equal to the frequency counter. Then run a loop for D in the current frequency that is check for each digit in the current frequency that the current frequency of our digit should actually be less than equal to the frequency of our digit which is in the input array or I can say that just check that the frequency in our digits that is in the input should be more than equal to the current frequency which is what the number demands right this is the condition for it this all function checks that all the conditions should be true that is if your number is 120 then for 1 for 2 and for 0 this particular check will be done for all of it it should be true if it is false for any of it this whole condition will be false right this is how all works so I can say if all frequency of D is more than equal to current frequency of D for D in current frequency then I can say that this current number is valid. So result dot append this current number and that's it. This is the complete solution for this problem. At last you can just return the result. Now you can just submit the code and you will see that this is actually a pretty efficient solution for this particular problem. So yes, you can see that runtime is good. The memory is good. So yes, this is a pretty efficient solution. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you got the understanding of the problem and the understanding of the solution approach along with the solution. And if you did, then make sure that you hit that like button. And if you are not subscribed to my channel as of now, then make sure that you subscribe to the channel as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching this video, guys.